Okay, this is a quick look at Firefox Quantum Beta. All right, so you can get information here on the um, main page for Firefox Quantum. I won't go through all of this, but uh, I just clicked uh, Try the Beta, and it's supposed to be twice as fast, powered by, powered by a new cutting edge engine. Firefox has doubled its speed from last year because the internet waits for no one, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's true. I'll have a link for this below in the show notes. Keep in mind that it officially arrives November 14th, not too long from this recording. So let's see. This is my very first look at this. So let me see what it looks like and how it feels like. So some cosmetic changes, lots of white space. We have some top sites, including Google, YouTube, and so on. Recommended by Pocket, Guardian, Star Trek. And, of course, the highlights would be, would be, of course, the new Firefox Quantum. We can get out of this here at the bottom. All right, so the usual address bar, the search bar here to the right, another search bar here, nothing unusual there. What's this? View history, save bookmarks, and more. Uh, show sidebars. Okay, bookmarks. And some preferences here. And some other settings here. Let's see, search, top sites, show two rows, recommended by pockets. You can click and unclick these if you want to. Highlights, snippets, read short and sweet updates from Mozilla and Firefox. Okay, let's dig into the preferences here and see what we have. Sign into sync, new window, private, restore, zoom, edit, library, screenshots, I don't have any. Options, what are the options? Okay, the usual general search privacy and security Firefox accounts. I'm just going through this quickly. It does feel fast, faster, at least in Windows. I haven't tried it yet in Linux. And we can clear cache content, web content, site data tracking protection. I wonder if that really works. Let's go ahead and hit Backspace there, backspace again, back to preferences, or almost back to preferences. There we go. Let's go back here. Uh, let's see. Customize. Drag your favorite items to the toolbar or overflow menu. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Would that work? There we go. We just drag the history tab. Very good. Done. Okay. Backspace again. All right. So far, no crashes. Go back to the tab here. Let's see. What is more? More what? Text encoding, web developer, and some help. Add ons. Okay. Get add ons, extensions, themes. Just a few there, plugins, and just a few here. Well, I will say this it does feel faster. Uh, cosmetically, it's slightly different. Let's see if it'll play um, videos real quick. Actually, let's try this. Let's try, let's go to private window, see if that makes any difference. We'll go to YouTube. Can see the icon here that it is a private window. Uh, let's search my channel real quick. And I'm not sure what that is either. That was, uh, that was the Arch Labs live event. Okay. Well, I will say this. It does feel smooth for a beta. It feels faster. Uh, cosmetically, I don't really have an issue uh, with this as far as the looks and, and feel of it. So it remains to be seen if this does any good 
running this in Linux. I think I'll wait as far as installing this in Linux. But as far as in Windows, and, and I'm running this in Windows 10, I do dual boot. I would say that uh, so far this feels faster than the previous Firefox. So I guess you can say it's a quantum leap for Firefox, for lack of a better term. But it feels very good so far testing it in my Windows 10 uh, machine. So that's my brief look at Firefox Quantum testing it in Windows 10. Let me know what you guys think.